Hello, good evening, and welcome to Wapakoneta, where tonight on WOSN will bring you the Division 7 state semifinals between the visiting Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds and the New Bremen Cardinals. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Jerry Snodgrass, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Wapakoneta. And Jerry, we're looking forward to a great Division 7 football game. It really is. You know, two very good teams, two extremely well coached teams, two great communities here. Absolutely. And, you know, the weather, slightly different than we saw last week. <laughs> it's a little nicer than we saw in the regional finals, and we're, we're thankful for that. And before we get too deep into the pregame show, it's time to take a look at the Lima Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game at the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. And Jerry, when you take a look at the keys of the game for the LCC Thunderbirds, what stands out to you? Well, first of all, they need to take care of the football. And I think, you know, it goes without saying, avoiding the turnover bug uh, at this level of the game or level of the tournament, you know, it's a must. You know, avoid the key turnover. You can, all analytics aside, we saw last week how a team won, you know, with turnovers, a field position. That's a key. Secondly, secondly, they have to prevent the big play. New Bremen's so capable with that running attack of the big play, they need to stop it. And that goes right along with the third key, they need to stop the running game. There are two formidable foes in the backfield for New Bremen that they need to stop tonight. And speaking of those Cardinals, what stands out to you well, that they need to accomplish? Now let's start with number one. They need to run the football. They have 3,000 yards plus between their two key backs, you know, with Schaefer and Holman. They need to use them, and I know they will. They have to play good defense. Lima Central Catholic is also capable of some big plays. They need to stop those. And really, something that sometimes is overused, we can talk about it all we want, but they have to win the special teams game. They've got a good kicker, but we know what field position can do in a game. So critical last week, so critical at this point in the tournament, they need to win the special teams game. That's the look at the Lima Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game. These two squads met here in 2020 in the state semifinals and had a barn burner. We'll see if we get a similar game tonight. We'll step aside, come back with first quarter action. It's New Bremen and LCC next here on WOSN. Welcome back here to Mercy Health Wapak Ford Field at Harmon Stadium here in Wapakoneta as we get set for this Division 7 state semifinal. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by New Bremen Insurance. We have continued with our strong local presence in support of our community. Also, game brought to you tonight by Holman's in Holman Interiors, servicing the Auglaise, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby County area. Ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. And you'll see instant replays tonight thanks to Holman Interiors. This we mentioned earlier in a pregame, Jerry, these two squads met in the 2020 state semifinals. New Bremen won 28-26 and just a thriller. And I know there's a lot of folks looking forward to watching this uh, quarterback battle tonight with a couple of guys who run the ball very well. Yeah, you know, two very similar styles when it comes to that. And that running game by both quarterbacks is going to spell probably the difference in the game. Who can stop whom? They both have solid defenses. Uh, comparatively, statistically, they're very similar. So, yeah. you know, this ought to be, you know, on paper, ought to be a very good game. And LCC is coming in with, a, you know, what, winning nine of their last, or excuse me, uh, winning uh, eight of their last nine games. So a lot of momentum there. So the T-Birds will receive the opening kickoff. Here's New Bremen's Hunter Schaefer, as you see there. We'll tee the football up. Schaefer, a first-team All-Midwest Athletic Conference kicker in addition to being an all-first team Midwest Athletic Conference running back with 23 rushing touchdowns. I'm sure we'll call Hunter Schaefer's name quite a lot this evening as he's got the football teed up here on WOSN for the Division 7 State Semifinals. And we are underway as the ball is kicked deep into the inside the five-yard line as the T-Birds will bring it out. Gabe Sierra out past the 20-yard line is cut down at the 22. So the T-Birds will start their first possession of the night there. We, you talked about Hunter Schaefer being, you know, an all Mac kicker. He had 22 uh, touchbacks in the year. And as I said before, field position plays such a key part of the game at this point in the season. In high school football, that's a weapon to, to be able to make your opponent go 80 yards or in this case 78 yards to score a touchdown. That's a, it's a big weapon to have in your back pocket. So Carson Parker, the junior quarterback for the T-Birds, lines up in a shotgun. They'll send a man in motion, and they'll hand it off. Cuts up the field out to the 25-yard line, and Payne Cutlip is cut down there. 
tackle made by Ben Saylor from his linebacker spot. So a gain of about four yards there for the T-Birds on first and ten. And that is a lot of their bread and butter running off tackle, trying to get the edge. Pick up two, three that time. So the T-Birds will come back out here. Second and six. Carson Parker, the 6'2", 207-pound quarterback, looks to throw for the first time. It is caught at the 30-yard line. Matthew Quatman spun backwards, now still on his feet. Oh, the whistle is forward progress down at the 30, so a gain of four yards there on the first pitch and catch by the T-Birds. They average just over eight yards and per Parker, completion. Right, and Parker's only put it up 236 times on the season, so seeing them go to the early on, again, that is also what New Bremen's going to force them to do. So third and short here on the first drive of the night for the T-Birds. Carson Parker, 12 passing touchdowns on the season compared to 30 rushing touchdowns, and they'll hand off to Sierra, and Sierra shoved backwards by Ben Saylor. That's a big defensive stop there for the Cardinals defense on this first series. Well, you see those outside linebackers. Ben Saylor read that so well. Came in off the edge and brought him down. No game. So Parker will line up as the deep man to punt for LCC. As David Holman and Aaron Tiemann will come back deep to return for the Cardinals. Parker gets a high spiraling kick away. Fair caught by Holman at the 39-yard line. So the New Bremen Cardinals force a three and out on their first drive. And New Bremen starts with pretty darn good field position from the 41. So 10.09 to go here in this first quarter. New Bremen will take over, and they're led offensively by David Holman, a senior quarterback, the Midwest Athletic Conference Player of the Year on the offensive side a season ago. This year, a second-team performer. He still had 21 rushing touchdowns, and he'll be joined in the backfield by Hunter Schaefer. 23 rushing touchdowns for Schaefer. As you see, the wings and Schaefer to the right of Holman in the gun. And Holman will keep it himself on the first carry of the game, but he's cut down in the open field as Cole Gross makes the tackle. It's just one yard gain there for New Bremen on first down. And a lot of their bread and butter right there. But you know, two formidable weapons in the backfield. You know, that running game, and as we talked about the keys to the game early on, they need to run the football successfully. And New Bremen, yeah, wants to keep that football on the ground. They want to see that clock moving as much as possible. And you see it in the statistics that Holman's got 21 rush touchdowns and 23 for Shane first. Holman completes his first pass to Saylor, came into the Knight with three receiving touchdowns on the season and is able to get very close to a Busher Electric first down there and actually are going to move the chains on a Busher Electric first down. Big first down puts them, I guess, right on the 50, but starting to get into LCC territory. You got a great look at it there on the Holman Interiors instant replay. So the nose of the football right at the 50-yard line for first and 10 for the Cardinals. 9.20 to go here in this opening quarter as Holman will hand off to Schaefer. He'll squirt through that first line and get out a gain of four, brought down at the 46-yard line. New Bremen moving awful quick here to begin the first three plays. As you see, another good look at the Holman's in, Holman interiors instant replay. Yeah, you look at those four down linemen for LCC, Jacob Lau, D'Angelo Russell, Johnny McKee, and Cole Gross. Schaefer, or Holman will keep it this time. And he's out to the open field at the 45, is able to turn the corner, stops and will step out of bounds at the 35. And that's a big play there by David Holman for another Busher Electric first yes. down. He got a great block out on the edge just to free him up for a couple more yards. And the Cardinals move quickly. Holman throws it just a bit too wide for Aaron Tiemann as he was rolling to his right. That's a tough pass to, to complete there, and just through the outstretched arms of Tiemann on the, on the back out of the backfield. Yeah, Tiemann floating out of there. You know, he had a little bit of running room if he would have you know, yeah. would have got it. Again, a tough throw, though. So that's the first incompletion for either squad so far. So second and 10 here for the Cardinals, driving into LCC territory at the 35-yard line. Holman with Schaefer to his right. And Baumbauer as the wing. I'll hand off to Schaefer, and he is brought down from behind. Matthew Quatman coming up, playing a little run defense from a safety position, and is able to bring down Schaefer from behind. You know, they're looking at tendencies on when to bring safeties up, when to bring corners up. You know, and again, they saw that as a definite run play, and 
brought him up and stopped for a little bit short of one yard gain. And just shy of a yard gain there. So third and long here for the Cardinals after the incompletion of the one yard gain. Big play for the LCCD. Holman rolling to his right. We'll sling it to Schaefer, and he can't corral it. Goes out of bounds. And we'll see if that forces a new Bremen punt. Gabe Sierra, I think, out there on the coverage, you know, right there to stop that had he caught it. Yeah, okay. Look at it here on the Holman Interiors instant replay as Holman scans the field. Knew he had Schaefer out of the backfield and just lost that concentration at the last moment trying to get that first down. And that will send Hayden Zeller back was, deep. And I believe that was Matt Sierra out there on the coverage. So Zeller back deep to punt. Looking to pin LCC deep in their own territory. High snap. He'll boot it away. And that's going to bounce at the five-yard line. And David Holman will down it at the one. You know, sometimes that punt can be one of your favorite plays. There's nothing wrong with it. Puts them deep, deep. You're at your own one-yard line now for your second drive of the night. That's a, a nice, you know, no, nobody wants to punt. But if you can, right. afford, if you can right. down it at the one-yard line, you're doing something right. So the T-Bird offense will come back out on the field after going three and out to start this Division 7 state semifinal. Under eight minutes to go here in this opening quarter. Both teams with one punt under their belt. And we'll take a look at the LCC offensive line. We've got a moment. Chris Serkovich, Tyler Shipman, Buddy Bryant, James Patton, and Jacob Locke are the offensive linemen for the T-Birds. Gabe Sierra joins Carson Parker in the backfield as Parker will look to throw double moves and will let one go. He's got a man down the far sideline. He dropped it in the breadbasket of Matthew Quatman. A big 36-yard completion between those two. Gets LCC out of the shadow of their own goal post. Wow. You know, he was under a lot of pressure. Park was under a lot of pressure on that, as you'll see him. And he just stands right in there and lays it perfectly. You couldn't throw a better football. As you see on the home and interior instant replay, what a throw by the junior quarterback. And that Gets LCC out to the 36-yard line. They'll send a man in motion. As they fake it to Cutlet. Parker will keep it for the first time. He's out to the 40-yard line to the 43 before he's brought down in the open field. Well, Parker, 116 out of 200. I mentioned he had put it up in the air 236 times. A little over 1,900 yards on the season passing. As you see the open field tackle there by Grant Dickey of New Bremen. But a six-yard gain there on first down for the T-Birds. Brings up second and four. Matt Sierra lines up as the wing there for LCC. And Parker will keep it himself once again. Parker stuck in the open field by Holman. Forward progress stopped, a gain of two. And that'll bring up third and pretty short here for the Cardinals. Well, Matt Sierra, number 22, is that H back in the LCC formation. And you know, does a lot of the blocking, a lot of the hard work, kind of the talent of a tight end, running back combined, can do a lot of things. So third and two for LCC. Would love to pick up their first Busher Electric first down. Here on third and short. 6.40 to go in this opening quarter. T-Birds approaching midfield. Parker will keep it himself. Has to keep those legs churning. He is very, very close, close to a Busher Electric first down. We'll see where they spot the football and whether we need a measurement. They'll say no, they're moving the chains. So we'll see a home and interiors instant replay here. He had to get to the 45-yard line. A lot of second effort that time by Absolutely. Carson Parker to get that first down. So that keeps the drive alive. It'll move the chains, and LCC's offense will remain on the field. Here's. Buddy Bryant stands over the football, ready to snap it back to Parker. And he'll fake the snap, or fake the handoff, I should say, and he'll scamper to the near side, has to uncork one. He's got a man deep, and it's great defense by New Bremen's Aaron Team on the catch up there. He was beat deep by Billy Burke, but was able to get a fingertip up there and tip that pass away. And you know, Carson Parker has shown me a lot so far. Look at him roll out on the run and still throws that on the money. Look at that, on the run. That's a tough pass. And Aaron Tiemann able to get his fingertips up and tip that football away at the very last moment. 
So it'll bring up second and 10, and the first incompletion thrown by Parker here in this first quarter. About halfway through, as they'll send Quatman in motion and hand off to him. Quatman with a lead blocker, spun around out past the midfield stripe before he's cut down by Gavin Plyman. But it's very close to another Busher electric first down for the T-Birds. Yeah, good blocking on the outside. Get a great see. look here as you see, I think Gabe Sierra gets a block out there and is able to spring Quatman for just a few more yards. So third and three. LCC Parker with a couple of carries under his belt. Remember, this drive started at the one. True. Ball to 47 here of New Bremen is. He'll throw. Caught by Billy Burke. He's got the Busher Electric first down at the 39-yard line. Teeman makes the open field tackle, but Billy Burke's first catch is good for a first down for LCC. Just a quick slant inside by Billy Burke. It's his 23rd reception on the year. That pass came out hot. Great hands. He has 382 yards receiving on the year. So first and 10 from the 38-yard line for LCC as we approach five minutes to go. Here in this opening quarter, T-Birds putting a drive together after starting at their own one-yard line. Matt Sierra in motion. Parker, the snap, and he'll look to throw once again. Threw it behind Quatman and nearly intercepted there by Kale Tangerman, the junior cornerback. <laughs> he could see the uh, def look of defeat on his face as he knew he uh, had the opportunity to make a big game change and play here in the first quarter. Yeah, that came out hot too and just a little bit behind. But Quatman was open. Leads him a little bit. He would have had some yards. Yeah, and LCC not trying to do too much uh, in the passing game, taking, you know, what New Bremen has given him so far. Second and 10. Cutlip in motion. Parker going to keep it himself, and Parker is spun down in the backfield by David Holman. That's a big play for Holman from his safety spot. Huge play. Puts them in third and, you know, a mile. Third and about 16, I guess, maybe. So they fake the handoff to Cutlip, and Holman never fooled. Spins him down. And it's third and 17 now for LCC. So 420 in this first quarter to go. Third and 17. Upcoming play, the 10th of the drive here for the T-Birds. Their own 45-yard line. they got to get to the 28. Parker, plenty of time. Now pressured, fires, it is caught, and it's a first down. Yeah, I'll tell you, Carson Parker is a weapon. Sal Guajeni, the catch, the 6'2 senior, picks up the Busher electric first down. You get a great look at the time Parker had in the pocket there from the home run interiors instant replay and able to find Sal Guajeni along the sidelines to move those chains once again. You know, he went through his progression so well. It wasn't there. Sal Guajeni is the uh, last option and rolled out and got him. Parker will hand off to Gabe Sierra. Got a little bit of room to rumble inside the red zone. Gabe Sierra trying to get to the pylon. And Gabe Sierra's in the end zone from 27 yards out for the first Allen Davis insurance touchdown. And Garrett, that's a 99-yard drive. That's an 11-play, 99-yard touchdown drive. You see here on the Holman Interiors instant replay. Patient was Gabe Sierra through that hole, and he goes off to the races at the 20-yard line and scampers for a 27-yard touchdown. And you know, LCC did a great job of uh, alternating the run and the pass in, in that entire yeah. drive. So now we're on for the Fat Jacks Pizza Extra Point as Michael Tafflinger on for the extra point. The snap is back to hold, is down to kick, is up. And it is good. LCC with an early 7-0 lead over New Bremen here on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Also, extra points tonight brought to you by Fat Jack's Pizza. Get the Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. We've got a Allen Davis Insurance touchdown and a Fat Jack's Pizza extra point on the board as new LCC leads New Bremen 7-0 on the 99-yard touchdown drive, Jerry, where I, we talked about it earlier, that field position battle. If you've got the ability to go 99 yards, hey. uh, LCC's going to take it. i tell you, too, what a confidence builder that is early on. Absolutely. Knowing what you can do in both the passing game and the run game, 
and that certainly is a, a real confidence builder early on in the game. Four passes and seven runs there for LCC to go 99 yards, and it really started on that first play to the 35-yard pitch and catch for LCC. And New Bremen will begin their second drive here as they'll kick off to Hunter Schaefer. He's out to the 25-yard line before he stopped by the T-Birds. So New Bremen gets the football back with just under four minutes to go here in this first quarter. So they'll start at their own 25-yard line after going on a seven-play drive that ended in a punt that was downed at the one-yard line. David Holman will go back to work. The six-foot, 167-pound seniors in the gun. They'll send Tiemann in motion, and Holman will keep it himself. He hits that hole quickly. Out past the 30-yard line and more. He's got the Busher Electric first down, and it's spun down just shy of the 40-yard line. So a big carry there on first down for David Holman. You know, again, the primary ball carrier in that offense. Again, a lot of second effort. You just see never out of balance, never erratic while running. Protects the ball well. Got finds it. the hole, finds the opening. And Holman will throw now on first and 10. He got it out to Hayden Zeller. Zeller brought down by Guigeni. But it is a pitch and catch there for New Bremen on first and 10. You know, Zeller's a big target out there, 6'5". Again, he enlist him at 187. He looks a little bit bigger than that, I think. But uh, he's a big target on that outside. Gain of five. We'll bring it up second and five. With three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Schaefer, the counter back the other way. He's met in the hole by Ethan Frankhauser, and Frankhauser shoves him straight backwards. Yeah, Frankhauser closed that gap but quick. We saw a hole there that looked like he was going to gain a lot of yards. And Ethan Frankhauser, the 6'1", 185-pound senior, closed that gap quickly. Leading tackler on the season for LCC, and you saw he met Schaefer in the hole and then gets a little help from D'Angelo Russell and Cole Gross to move him backwards. So third and four upcoming here for the Cardinals. Big third down for New Bremen. See if they can answer. Ball right at the 45-yard line. Holman rolling to the near sideline. Turns, flicks his wrist, and it's through the hands of Zeller. New Bremen faithful won a pass interference call as Payne Cutlip was there on the coverage. Don't get it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Again, that, that's, that's a tough pass. You're rolling to your left. Yeah. We'll see on the Holman Interiors instant replay here. you got to flip those shoulders around. Yep. And little Zeller had to climb the ladder just a bit to go get it. And looks like Zeller is going to come out to punt. At the same time, great coverage that time by David Holman. 2.18 to go here in his first quarter. Ball booted away by Zeller. Fair catch signal given by Billy Burke at the 30-yard line. Correct myself there. That was great coverage by Payne Cutler. So the T-Birds at 2.13 to go here in the first quarter. Will start their third drive. The ball on their own 25 yard line. Went 99 yards the last drive, like we mentioned. Carson Parker and Gabe Sierra lined up in the backfield. Sierra with 11 touchdowns on the season himself on the ground as they'll fire. It's wow. caught by Quatman with some room to rumble. Out near the midfield stripe, he's still turning those legs past the midfield stripe to the 45-yard line. A great pitch and catch from Carson Parker to sophomore Matt Quatman, and he brings it out past the 45-yard line. You know, that's one of the things in the offensive uh, scheme that they use. You've got great athletes out there on the perimeter, and boy, what hands. What great hands that time. Caught it out away from his body and then it got him in position to keep chugging along and LCC just like that back into New Bremen territory. Quatman has seven touchdowns on the year through the air. And they'll hand off to Sierra after the 27 yard touchdown on his last carry. He gets to the 41 yard line. It's a gain of five on first down for the Birds. Now I need to give a lot of credit to that offensive line right now by of LCC's. You saw Tyler Shipman, number 60 there, able to put his defender on his back. That's the pulling guard there from the left side for LCC on that great home and interiors instant replay. So LCC kind of humming along here to start this ball game here with 1.15 to go in this opening quarter. You mentioned it, the two guards, Tyler Shipman, James Patton, you know, do a lot of pulling. We're seeing it there again. Quartman. Key to that running game. The carry 
Going to be just shy, I believe, of the Busher Electric first down. So one minute to go here in this opening quarter. You see there they misdirect the New Bremen defense by pulling a guard the wrong way, and Quatman to the carry. And it'll bring up third and short here for LCC. You know, both these teams come in. You know, we talk about New Bremen playing in the MAC, you know, and what a tough schedule yeah. that is. LCC playing an independent schedule. Hey, they've had a they've had a <laughs> they very no cakewalks. Schedule. No cakewalks at all for LCC with a couple of Division three and four schools as Parker the carry. Parker tries to spin to the Busher Electric first down. We'll see where the ball is spotted. And the official along the near sideline says that is a Busher Electric first down. Yeah, he gave that away all, you know, the second that that ball was snapped, everybody knew who was taking it. Parker met at the line of scrimmage there by Evan Eink. So 14 seconds to go. We'll see if that's the final play here this first quarter. It looks as if it will be. We've played one quarter of action. LCC with a 7-0 advantage over New Bremen in the Division 7 state semifinals here on WLSN. Tonight's first call of the quarter is brought to you by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Also tonight's timeouts brought to you by Speedway Lanes. Speedway Lanes in New Greenland brings family and friends together with bowling, fun, and great food for everyone. Second quarter about to get underway here. LCC going on a drive inside the New Bremen territory. Leading 7-0. Fifth play of the drive upcoming for the T-Birds as Parker fakes the handoff, looks to throw, has time, going deep up top for Billy Burke, and he can't get it. He wants a pass interference penalty, no flag thrown, and it'll bring up third and ten. That was about 45 yards in the air. Didn't miss him by much. going to bring up second and ten. I, I was incorrect, I beg your pardon. But you're right, Jerry, but uh, Parker... When he's got a time to throw, and even when he's been on a run, he's he's uncorked a couple of yeah, years so has. far. You know, I like that play call, too. You know, first down, they're on a nice drive. Let's go deep. Let's try to take advantage of it. I like that play call. Max here lined up as the wing there for the T-Birds. As Parker has Gabe Sierra to his right. Fakes the handoff, slings to Billy Burke. He's got it in the open field. Burke inside the red zone, still on his feet inside the 10. Billy Burke from 36 yards out, and LCC's got another Allen Davis insurance touchdown. And you know what? That is a high, on the highlight reel from quarterback to receiver to everybody involved. I don't know how he snuck that pass in there on that slant. Going to watch this right. Just zips it right in there, and then. Billy Burke, the stiff arm. <laughs> Just keeps chugging 36 yards out. And LCC with the 13-0 advantage. The Matthew Quatman comes on after the Allen Davis insurance touchdown. The snap back. The kick is up. And the kick is through the uprights. And the Fat Jack's Pizza extra point is good. LCC with a 14-0 lead over New Bremen early in the second quarter on WOSN. First down tonight brought to you by Busher Electric. They're your full-service electrical contractor servicing the area communities for over 40 years. You can depend on Busher Electric for all your electric needs. And New Bremen wants to put together a drive with a couple of Busher Electric first downs here as they trail 14-0 to the LCC T-Birds in this Division 7 state championship game. As Michael Tafflinger has the football teed up, ready to food it away. And New Bremen, they've, they've put together... Uh, that first drive, they went seven plays. The, this last drive, they went, got a first down on the first play and went, then went three and out. But they've had a, uh, they've had a little bit of rhythm a couple of different times, Jerry. Just haven't been able to cap anything no, off. It's, it's like they've gotten caught in a, you know, third and long, or you know, one bad play or one, one, one play in the drive that's not doing so well yeah. and puts them in a bad spot. So the touchback from Tafflinger will give New Bremen a football to 20 yard line, and they'll get back to work. As David Holman, the senior quarterback, second team Midwest Athletic Conference quarterback, was the MAC Offensive Player of the Year as a junior. As those 21 rushing touchdowns with 12 passing touchdowns to his credit on the season. As the Cardinals will bring the offense back out to the field, Schaefer to the right of Holman in the gun on first and 10. We'll send Dylan Bombauer in motion, and Holman, the quarterback keeper. Dives out to the 26-yard line, a gain of six yards on first down. 
couldn't see who was in on that tackle. It was a little bit uh, on the side here. We'll see it on the replay here. Another great look at the home and interiors. Instant replay. There's, looks like Matt Sierra yeah. punches him out of bounds there. Good pursuit, though. Good job of the LCC line keeping shoulders square to the line of scrimmage. Clock did stop as Holman went out of bounds. Schaefer the carry this time, looking for a little bit of running room. And he is pushed out of bounds after a gain of one there. Gabe Sierra, the closest T-bird to Schaefer, stepped out. Schaefer is such a tough runner, 193-pound senior, 23 rushing touchdowns on the year. Had a big role in the 2020 state championship season for New Bremen as a sophomore. He got pressed into action in the playoffs and had a great state championship game and is looking to cap off a great senior season as well as Holman keeps it himself. Needed to get to the 30-yard line for the Busher Electric first down, and he did, and they'll move the chains. Had to get to the 30, got to the 30 and a half. Yes. As you see, see here, he's patient with his blockers, but got stood up and shoved straight backwards as Parker in on the stop for LCC. But it moves the chains, and it's first and 10 for New Bremen. Schaefer gobbled up wow. in the open field. Jacob Locke, the big defensive end, 6'2", 215-pound senior, had 94 tackles on the season. Give him another one there. Yes, and he comes from that left side. No, he can't. Yep, got through on the right side there and just able to use that technique to get through the offensive line. So second and 10 here for New Bremen. And that's one of those things you mentioned, Jerry, was that you know, New Bremen get things going, got that first down, and then they get that play that gets them at second and long. Allman turns and fires. It's caught by the Cardinals. First down and more as Ben Saylor gets his second catch of the night. And give Ben Saylor a lot of credit for that. Got it out to the 45-yard line. Had to get to the 40, so a 15-yard gain there on second and 10 for New Bremen. As you see, Holman Interior's instant replay. Might have got tipped, but Saylor, the catch, and then does the rest from there, makes the stiff arm, and got out to the 45-yard line. Yeah, the yards after the catch were so big on that. Holman, the quarterback keeper, and he's tackled in the open field by Gabe Sierra. And a nice sportsmanship by Sierra to help David Holman up, but read that from the get-go, did Sierra, and that's a big loss at two there for that LCC defense. You know, defense seems to be coming through whenever LCC needs it, but you mentioned the sportsmanship, and I'll tell you, that's something great about high school sports. You see it. You see it all the time. Love to see it at this level and all levels. Holman across the middle of the field, a Sailor big stick from Parker. At the midfield stripe, Sailor, all right. Sailor deserves a lot of credit for hanging on to that. Yes, he, yes, he does. He, I think he knew he was going to take a big oh, lick. When, you, but when you're coming across the middle like that, against that zone, right there, you're met. Good, clean tackle. So third and five upcoming here for New Bremen. A big play for both sides here. New Bremen would like to pick up the Butcher electric first down, and LCC would like to get that offense back on the field. Schaefer, the man in motion. Holman looking. Rolling, going deep, has a man, and it's caught by Saylor. Ben Saylor trying to get in the end zone. He's brought down by Sal Guajeni, but a big play there by the Cardinals to get them inside the red zone. Wow. You can give Ben Saylor, you know, only six foot one, but towered over that. Jump ball, was able to get it. So New Bremen quickly back to the line of scrimmage as Holman. In the gun, hands off to Schaefer. Schaefer, it's a race to the pylon, and Schaefer wins it. 24th rushing touchdown of the season for Hunter Schaefer. Gets New Bremen on the board with the Allen Davis Insurance touchdown. What a key touchdown for New Bremen. Answering that, that last drive of LCC. LCC, or New Bremen, excuse me, going quickly after the big play there by Saylor. Hands off to Schaefer for the touchdown. Hunter Schaefer gets the Cardinals on the board, and now they'll send the field goal unit on with Schaefer looking to kick the Fat Jacks Pizza extra point. Snap is back, kick is up, and a kick is no good. Missed it wide to the right, so the score remains 14-6. New Bremen the touchdown, LCC to lead here on WOSN. The scoreboard tonight brought to you by New Bremen's Insurance. We have continued with our strong local presence and support 
of our community. Also, instant replays tonight brought to you by Holman Interiors. Servicing all Lace, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties, we are ready to partner with you on your home renovations or new build projects. So a nine-play, 80-yard touchdown drive there for New Bremen. And, Jerry, both squads showing the ability to, to go the length of the field here in this first half. And the pass has become such a key weapon for both teams. You yeah. know, give Ben Saylor a lot of credit. You know, that pass to him, of course, you know, from David Ullman. But that pass was a key play in that drive. Yeah, we talked about, you know, the running quarterbacks here. So far we've got a pair of touchdowns from – uh, running backs and a, a passing touchdown. Yeah. We spent the, the pregame talking about the wrong guys, I yeah. guess. I want to change the key to the game there. <laughs> we'll see if we can't uh, go back and talk about their Lima Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game here at the halftime break and sound a little smarter there as the Hunter Schaefer kickoff goes into the end zone. And just like New Bremen did on the last drive, the T-Birds going to be forced to go 80 yards if they want to score another Allen Davis insurance touchdown. You know, and I don't think Schaefer just – connected right on that extra point and he's 53 of 57 now on the year on extra points he's a solid solid kicker yeah and it didn't didn't look like it got very high off yeah. the ground i'm not sure what the miscommunication or what the miscue was but uh, that could loom large as we've seen in this matchup in previous matchups but those extra points every point is vital in this division seven state semifinal. parker in the gun play action Sailor pressures. Parker lets it fly and nearly intercepted by Grant Dickey as the sophomore trailed just a bit too far behind to get the pick. Well, if you have any doubts about Carson Park, Parker's strength, watch him. He's throwing this off his back foot, fading away. Still wobbles a little bit, but still solid pass. Got it away. And it'll bring up second and ten. The pressure from Ben Sailor his linebacker spot. Sailor having a big first half. Yes, he is. It's a big series for New Bremen. Parker in the gun by his lonesome with 8.48 to go here in this first half. t is with the lead, 14-6. Parker will keep it himself, and ball's loose, and it's pounced by on by Tyler Shipman. If you're watching from the sideline, if you're one of the coaches watching on the sideline, that ball laid there, I think, it for about five eternity. minutes. It was an eternity, as you see on the home and interior's instant replay. Just goes the ball just rolls backwards. And Tyler Shipman was one of the only folks who saw the football, and he pounced on it. So it's going to be third and 11 as the T-Birds avoid disaster there on second down. Well, this is also what New Bremen wanted, put, put them into a third and long situation. Pivotal third down, Parker. Looks to fire over the middle of the field, and he gets it into the hands of Payne Cutlip. Right up the seam, Cutlip makes the great catch to move the chains for the Butcher Electric first down. Well, that's a backbreaker. You know, you played such good defense, and again, I, I don't, I can't take anything, you know, away from the defense on this. But boy, what a pass! And he lays right in there. That's a great throw into the hands of Payne Cutlip. He had nine receptions all season coming into tonight and gets the big play there for the Busher Electric first down. Yeah, good, a good route that time by Cutlip as well. Parker in the gun, going up top, looking for Billy Burke. And Burke can't make the catch, but a pass interference call looks like it's going to go against the Cardinals. Yes. 7.43 to go here in this second quarter. And looks like we're going to get the first call of the quarter brought to you by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time. It's cnbohio.com. And you see a look there at the home and interiors instant replay as the pass interference call against Cale Tangeman. So we got, got that pass interference that probably not going to be popular with the folks wearing. <laughs> Uh, Yellow it never and seems to be it. no, no, nobody, nobody likes the those big 15-yard penalties. Is Sierra the handoff and he'll power up to the 30-yard line before he's swallowed up by a host of New Bremen defenders? But that's going to be very close to another Busher Electric first down on a carry by Sierra. You know, and it's as excellent running as that was by Sierra. You know, again, look at Shipman. Shipman pulls and makes that key block through there. Love, I love offensive linemen. I love offensive linemen that have the footwork and the ability to pull and lead blockers. They do all the dirty work. 
And I tell you what, when you get those offensive linemen that also play linebacker on defense, those yeah. are the guys you know can, can move a little bit. It's Matt Sierra, the man in motion. As Parker will keep it himself. Parker's got a little bit of room to run inside a red zone. Parker, the stiff arm, and Parker from 31 yards out. Carson Parker, another touchdown for LCC. And they'll extend that lead with the Allen Davis insurance touchdown. And a big answer that time by Lima Central Catholic. 31-yard rumble. You'll see it there on the home and interiors instant replay. The stiff arm at the last moment to get a little bit of room. And Carson Parker, he had five straight games of at least two touchdowns or more, and he's got one there to extend that lead out to 20-6. to six. And again, as I said, a big answer. Fat Jack's peach extra point from Michael Tafflinger is up. And it's good, and the Birds have a 21-6 lead over New Bremen in the second quarter here on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. And also Extra Points tonight brought to you by Fat Jack's Pizza. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Tafflinger will boot it away from the 40-yard line into the arms of Hunter Schaefer inside the five-yard line. Schaefer slips one tackle up to the 20. Now reverses and out to the 27-yard line before he's cut down by Matt Quatman. Well, you know, e even there, when I talk, you know, I think maybe you can tell my son was a kicker, so I'm, <laughs> I'm big on the kickers there. But, you know, Tafflinger, when he kicked that extra point, he's hit 50 50 of 59 coming into this game from extra on extra points. But even there, even though that was not a touchback, I mean, he's got him pinned back pretty good. And you got to get it out to the, when best case scenario is out to the 26. It's a good weapon as Holman goes up to see him. He lobs it to Saylor. He makes the catch at the midfield stripe, thrown down by Carson Parker. But an easy pitch and catch. Ben Saylor, a big first half for New Bremen. You know, I, I cannot say enough about the great passing. I thought, I'm going to change the keys to the game. <laughs> but uh, really, when you look at that pass by Saylor. And Schaefer out into the open field, breaks a tackle into the red zone. Is Payne Cutlip able to bring him down? But New Bremen going quickly after that big pass play. They're in business quickly. Yeah, that last pass play by Parker to Saylor. Boy, just laid it right, right in his hands. And New Bremen quickly once again. Holman in the gun with Schaefer to his right. we got a stoppage in play as they've got a timeout called by LCC. A Speedway Lanes timeout called. We'll step aside as well. Burt, New Bremen driving, trailing 21-6 on WOSN. Timeouts tonight brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. Speedway Lanes brings families and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. New Bremen putting together a drive here after starting at their own 25-yard line. They're now at the LCC 19-yard line after just two plays. You can tell David Holman at quarterback spot as a senior loves that tempo. Yes, he does. And boy, they're right to the line and confident. Team and the man in motion. They'll hand off to Schaefer. Schaefer to the 15, stood straight up. The ball's loose. New Bremen able to pounce on it as Carter Elking got on the football. I never, I never saw when Hunter Schaefer lost the football there. I just saw him getting stood up, and he didn't have the football anymore. That was a great call that time, too, by New Bremen, coming back with a counter. You know, I think every, ooh. <laughs> LCC nearly pounced on that Very football. Very close. But Carter Elking from his left tackle spot, right tackle spot, excuse me, bump, jumped on the football to avoid disaster there for the Cardinals. Holman. The carry inside the 10-yard line. He stood up. No whistle yet. Well, you know, part of that, though, too, you know, today you hear a lot of, you know, he stood up and no whistle yet. But, you know, you can, you know, he aid that runner out, now, right. you know. And so, you know, unless his forward progress is completely stopped, Going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So it's third and very short here. Holman, the keeper, inside the first down. He's got the Busher Electric first down. So Holman, a couple of carries, picks up that Busher Electric first down. 
as the clock will continue to tick here in the late stages of this opening half. You see him just put the hand in the middle of the back of Hunter Schaefer to get more yards. Well, you kind of look at it, too, that, you know, they have four downs to go six yards, and you almost want to think he's going to do that every single down. Holman, the keeper this time once again, inside the five, still diving forward out to the three. Now they fake that jet sweep out to the left, and, and uh, he, Holman keeps the ball. Good blocking up front. Yeah, very patient. It's Ethan Frankhauser and Carson Parker in on the stop for LCC. Hayden Zell, who's a 6'5 junior at the top left corner of your screen. As Holman will send team it in motion. He'll roll that way, hand off to Schaefer, coming back the other way, and Hunter Schaefer easily into the end zone from three yards out for the Allen Davis Insurance touchdown. Well, whoever has the ball last might win tonight. <laughs> really, what a good answer there by New Bremen. Second rushing touchdown by Hunter Schaefer. You get a great look at the Holman Interiors instant replay. Makes one cut and walks into the end zone. You could also see on that drive that the, the tempo of the game uh, New Bremen really just trying to control that, getting to the line of scrimmage quick. S try to stop us is almost their message. This Fat Jack's pizza extra point much better for New Bremen. Through the uprights and good, and they cut the lead to eight. It's 21-13 in the second quarter here on WOSM. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Citizens National Bank. See how they're building businesses one relationship at a time at CNB Ohio. Com. We traded punts to begin this Division 7 state semifinal, and now we've traded touchdowns twice. Four straight drives ended in touchdowns for both squads here as LCC leads New Bremen 21-13, but each time somebody's needed to answer, Jerry, we've yeah. seen it here in this second quarter. Yeah, both teams offensively, you know, really just taking it right back down the field. So Hunter Schaefer, who's got both New Bremen touchdowns on the evening, has the football teed up with 4.23 to go here in his second quarter. And he'll boot it away to the LCC Thunderbirds. Low knuckleball kick. Scooped up inside the 10-yard line. As Gabe Sierra reverses field out to the 25 to the 26. Where he's brought down. Almost looked for a minute like he had the outside. Yes. Got closed quickly. The ball to the 27-yard line for LCC. They'll go back to work offensively, and really they've thrown the ball, I think, more a little bit, Jerry, than I th maybe we and New Bremen expected in both the first teams, half. I think both teams have. I, I'm quite surprised, but, you know, then again, you know, you're going to enter this round of the tournament saying, you know, you've got to be balanced in order to win. Matt Sierra in motion. There's Parker. Hands off to Gabe Sierra, met in the backfield and brought down for a loss. Didn't see on the unless it was Gavin Plyman who made the stop for a one-yard loss. It's a big series again for New Bremen. You know, have a chance to get the ball back here before the half. As Carter Elking from his defensive end spot recovered the fumble on the last drive there for New Bremen to keep the football with him and then makes a tackle for a loss there on the first play of this drive for LCC. Second and 11. And they'll look to throw. Parker quickly to Burke. Caught. And he's dragged to the turf by Gavin Dick or by Dave or Grant Dickey, excuse me. But it is a completed pass and a gain of six. Bring up third and five. Again, though, what great hands. Comes out of there fast. And boy, Burke's just able to grab that, turns it into about a five-yard gain. And makes it third and much more manageable here for LCC. Parker. By his lonesome on third down as we approach three minutes to go here in this first half. And we've got a I think we have motion, I think. Nope, timeout. Speedway lanes timeout. Called by Dave Raymond. We'll step aside as well. 21-13, big third down coming up when we return on WOSN. First down tonight brought to you by Busher Electric. They're a full-service electrical contractor servicing the area communities for over 40 years. You can depend on Busher Electric for all your electric needs. A big third down here, third and four. LCC wants a Busher Electric first down. New Bremen would love to get the football back here in the final stage of this first half. Yeah, still two timeouts left for New Bremen if they do get the ball back. See if Parker keeps it himself here. By his lonesome in the backfield, he'll lob it up for Sal Guajetti, and he can't hang on. 
coverage by Hayden Zeller from his linebacker spot. Parker just lobbed one up there for Gojeni. Had to track it for a long time. Out of his concentration broken at the final moment. But I also think a perfect pass. You know, laid it right in there again. But, yeah, pretty good job that time, too, by 83. Yeah, Hayden Zeller. Yeah, Hayden Zeller of getting a hand on the ball, just making it tougher to hang on to and hold on to. So Parker, dangerous is the punter. Will boot it away. So New Bremen stops the streak of touchdowns, and it's caught by Holman at the 40-yard line. Holman, a little bit of room to run. David Holman shoved out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And then I think we're going to get a penalty thrown well afterwards. Looks like the, there was not a flag thrown. As I believe that was... Hard to believe that just one series or two series, you know, one by each team can really change the momentum like it has, but you really feel that momentum shifting right now to New Bremen. Isaac Leppert the hit out of bounds on Holman. No call, but the ball's at the 30-yard line. Best starting field position of the night so far for New Bremen as Holman fakes the handoff to Schaefer and is brought down from behind by Jacob Locke. But it's still a gain of a couple there on the first play of the drive. Still plenty of time, two minutes and 30 seconds left and two timeouts. New Bremen, as you mentioned, Jerry, they don't really have to turn that tempo up no. just quite yet. Probably would love to not give LCC the football back with much time, if at all, here in this first half. Holman sends a man in motion. We'll keep it this side, nearly tripped up in the backfield. Met by Frank Hauser, slips out of it to the 25-yard line. A gain of three there by David Holman on his second consecutive carry. David Holman turning a lot of nothing into something there. He was tackled, but he was good as tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And Nearly brought down by Quatman. Able to roll out of another tackle before he hits the turf inside the 25. The 24, so another big third down for both sides. Third and five. Maybe third and four and a half for New Bremen. 135 to go here in this first half. Holman in the gun. That's team in motion, fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Wide open is Dylan Bombauer inside the 10-yard line. Parker swirls him to the turf, but it's first and goal after the Busher Electric first down for the New Bremen Cardinals. Little Patrick Mahomes, I think, on that little sidearm almost, it looked like, you know, just slinging it out there quick, yep. Hunter right Schaefer, the, the carry this time as they move quickly inside the five-yard line. Gain of three there for Schaefer. So he's already got two touchdown carries on the night. So exactly one minute now remaining in this first half. 21-13, New Bremen trails. And might be thinking about what a two-point conversion might look like if they were able to punch one in here as Holman out to the three-yard line, gain of three. As they've relied on him quite a lot here on this drive. Big third down coming up. And now both sides still with two timeouts, as you see on the Holman Interiors instant replay. Brought down by D'Angelo Russell for LCC. Timeout, I and, think. Yeah, yep. And now a Speedway Lanes timeout called by New Bremen with 25 seconds to go. More second quarter action coming up here on WLSN. The scoreboard tonight brought to you by New Bremen Insurance. We have continued with our strong local presence and support of our community. New Bremen knocking on the door. It's third and goal from the three yard line as they trail by eight here in this first half. And New Bremen relying on David Holman quite a lot here on this drive. And Already have two touchdown runs for Hunter Schaefer. It's, we'll see what they do here on third and short, but certainly four down territory, right? I believe right? so, too. Holman with Bombauer lined up as a wing. Holman looking, fires, nearly corralled by Aaron Teeman in the end zone. Instead, it'll be fourth and goal. You know, that vaunted running game, you know, maybe surprised to see a pass here. I'm not. I thought they did a very good job in that timeout of uh, designing that, knowing what they wanted to do, thought they could get the pass in. 
looks like Hunter Schaefer's lined up to kick the field goal. He's four of seven on the season. Made each one from inside the 20, from inside 29 yards. And it looks like they're content to have Schaefer line up for the field goal. Kicking from the right hash. So Hunter Schaefer, who already has both of the touchdowns, snap back to hold down to kick his up, and the kick splits the uprights for a field goal to make it 21-16. So Cardinals tack on some more points here in the first half on WOSN. Instant replays tonight brought to you by Holman Interior, servicing Auglaes, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties. They're ready to partner with you on your home, renovation, or new build projects. 21-16, LCC with the advantage after the field goal by Hunter Schaefer. He's scored every single point tonight for New Bremen here in this first half. And with 20 seconds, it's somewhat interesting, Jerry, to see what LCC does with these 20 seconds and two timeouts. Yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> Hunter Schaefer will boot it away. And going to be caught just inside the five-yard line. LCC will trot it out. Gabe Sierra out to the 25-yard line, shoves out to the 30. And with 10 seconds remaining in the half, LCC. Well, will. you know, too, New Bremen, you know, chose to kick the field goal and get the three points. They're also getting the ball back first in the second half. Certainly factors into the decision. And you, you, here in the second quarter, they've, they've played a little better offensively. Than yeah, the first you know, quarter. and you know, too, for a, for a team, that really instills a lot of confidence in them, too. You know, like, hey, let's get the three. We know we can score when we come out with that next possession. And also, if you you know the, if you know if are able to score on that next possession, you instantly take the lead That's after correct. picking up the three. Take the points while you can get them. So it looks like LCC is going to kneel the football in this first half as Parker will direct the running backs close to him. He'll take that knee, and that will do it for the first half of play. A fun one here in the Division 7 State Semifinals. LCC leads New Bremen 21-16 at the break here on WOSN. Hello and welcome back to Wapak. It's time for tonight's halftime adjustment. It's brought to you by Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. And, Jerry, when you take a look at uh, what each side accomplished there in that first half, what what was the halftime speech there from Chris Schmidt for New Bremen and Scott Palti for LCC? Well, you know, first of all, for New Bremen, you know, I think, I think the pass caught them a little bit yeah. off guard. And I think, you know, especially on second downs. Okay, you can say third and long, you know, we have to be pass conscious, all that. I think they're going to have to drop linebackers a little bit more on second, you know, and, and medium. Uh, so I think they have to be a little bit more conscious of the pass, especially with their linebackers. Uh, I think if you're LCC, um, you know, they knew that you know, one of their keys to the game was to prevent the big play and stop the running game. I think they need to make some adjustments to do a little bit more of that. I think they need to key a little bit more on those running game on that run on the two backs on Schaefer and Holman, but at the same time keep defensive backs deep to prevent that big play. So I think it's more of just tweaking what for for LCC tweaking what they came into the game wanting to do. So that's a look at our Lox Chiropractic halftime adjustment brought to you by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. They offer area residents good health through chiropractic care. And when we talked about the, you know, the keys to the game to start tonight's broadcast, uh, the Lima Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game, where New Bremen said, hey, we got to run the football and we got to win special teams. They've been able to um, run the ball pretty effectively. Hunter Schaefer with two touchdown carries there in that first half. Uh, special teams, though, missed that extra point. Uh, did get the field goal unit on to get the field goal at the end of that first half. And then LCC said, hey, we don't want to turn the football over. And, and I think both squads have things they can point to and said, hey, we did this really well there in that first yeah, half. Yeah, I agree with you I think that's one of the things too you know you talk about adjustments let's keep doing what we do well so Michael Tafflinger has the football or is awaiting to have a football teed up uh, we said too how uh, key this first possession is in the second half new Bremen scored you know got the field goal right toward the end of the first half they were they were okay with that knowing they would get the ball back first in the second half now uh, I'm sure that thing is on that speech on offense is let's get it down there. Let's do the job. It's a new game. Let's take it down and take the lead. Tafflinger will send it away. 
It's caught by Schaefer at the seven-yard line. They'll reverse it out to David Holman. And there's a lot of guys in white ready for Holman, and he's brought down at the 24-yard line. So they try a little trickeration out of the timeout, or out of the halftime, I should say. Caden Falky in on the stop for LCC. So we'll uh, give Falky a lot of credit, too, for staying home on that. Yeah. You know, that's something that uh, it's all designed to – Somebody over penetrating and going to the going to the ball and not staying home in their lane. And and probably how much of that is set for LCC to say, hey, we're not going to kick it to that guy. Yeah. And New Bremen says, well, let's see if we can't get him a an extra touch of the football here. Is Holman quickly to team it up the seam? Teeman tries to break the tackle. Is out past the midfield stripe. Is brought down by Sal Guajeni, but an early throw from Teeman or from. Holman to team it, excuse me, has a big gain for New Bremen. Well, that's the other part. I think, you know, the coaches have come out of that, you know, you know, especially the ones up in the booth, you know, going down into halftime saying, hey, listen, we can throw the ball. Let's throw it. That's a big Busher Electric first down on the first play of the drive, first play of the half for New Bremen. Holman pump fakes, scrambles. Holman a little bit of room to run. Tries to slip one more tackle, Payne Cutlip. Brings home into the turf, but that's another Busher Electric first down, a pair of them to start the second half for New Bremen. Uh, that's also, you know, you talk about halftime, we talk about the adjustments that we see up here, but that's a lot of credit to the New Bremen staff for recognizing what is there and capitalizing on it in their first drive. So two first downs on the first two plays to start this third quarter for New Bremen as Holman will send Teeman in motion. Hands off to Schaefer. Got back to the line of scrimmage, no further. Gianni McKee, the big sophomore, 5'11", 320-pound defensive tackle on the tackle there for the T-Birds. So that stops a string of a couple of big plays there for New Bremen. I mentioned, you know, we both did at the start of the game, you know, of you know, Schaefer and Holman, you know, combining for over 3,000 yards in the season so far. That's a, right there. They go to Schaefer and seeing what they can get out of that. Holman, the handoff on the counter to Schaefer, dragging a defender out to the 32-yard line. There's Gianni McKee there for LCC once again, but Hunter Schaefer is listed at 193 pounds and was dragging the 320-pound sophomore Gianni McKee. Uh, that's just, you know, sheer strength all the time. Just always the drive. He's done that all game every time he's touched the ball. That's the work that you put in the Cardinal Booster Center there at New Bremen. Yes. In the weight room, and the, the, that was a, a three-yard gain earned in July and August. As they'll send a man in motion. Holman looks to throw. Lobs one up for Saylor, and he caught it. Ben Saylor has been fantastic here tonight in this Division 7 state semifinal, and he's got another reception for a Busher Electric first down. Well, he does a great job of coming back to the inside, you know, to catch that. And again, you see in the up tempo right now by New Bremen. Holman scrambling. We'll just leak one out to Teeman, and it's a touchdown. 14 yards from Holman to Teeman for the Allen Davis insurance touchdown, and New Bremen has their first lead of the night. Wow. What, what an opening drive by New Bremen. 9.42 to go here in this third quarter. A 14-yard pass from Holman to Teeman. Now that run pass option going out to the right. What a great call. And Hunter Schaefer's on to kick the extra point. The snap back, the hole is blocked. That snap was a little high. Kick was blocked. So the Fat Jack's Pizza extra point, no good. So New Bremen hangs on to a one-point lead here in the third quarter in this Division 7 state semifinal on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is New Bremen Insurance Agency. They've continued with their strong local presence to support our community. 9.42 to go here in this third quarter. New Bremen with their first lead of the night at 22-21 as Hunter Schaefer boots it away. It's caught at the six-yard line by the LCC Thunderbirds, and Gabe Sierra will rumble up that far sideline out to the 27-yard line. So pretty much the average starting field position tonight for LCC after those kickoff returns. Well, now it's LCC's turn. Can they answer? That's been the story so far of who can answer those quick touchdowns. And, you know, it's been kind of the story of everything and momentum shift one way and then the other. 
LCC won eight of their last nine, their loss in week 10 of the high school football season to Fort Loramie, who knew Bremen knocked off last week in the regional finals by a 24-0 score. I think it's 35-34 LCC lost to Loramie in week 10 as Gabe Sierra the handoff, and he is met quickly by Nolan Kenning. And Kenning driving him backwards. It's a gain of about a yard and a half there on first down. But Nolan Kenning from his nose guard spot, the first Cardinal on the scene. Yeah, good speed out there for the 5'11", 240-pound junior. So it was a gain of two. Bring up second and eight after Gabe Sierra got the handoff. He had a 37-yard touchdown rumble there in that first half. Put LCC on the New Bremen Insurance scoreboard first. And Parker will keep it himself this time. Parker runs into the back of a blocker. Stood up at the 36-yard line, driven backwards. It's going to be third and short here for LCC. Yeah, good solid run. I, you're right. He ran right back, right into the back of his own player, leading the block. We'll see what LCC dials up here on this third and short. Parker has 30 rushing touchdowns on the season, and they like him in these short yardage situations. Matt Sierra in motion. And Parker keeps it himself. Parker with some room to run. Makes one cut and he's off to the races. Has to get past David Holman. Can't. Brought down at the 29-yard line. But a big rumble by the junior signal caller. Picks up the Busher Electric first down. And I, I might be wrong, but I, I think it was, was it Schaefer that made the big block. That's a big run there for Carson Parker to rumble that out inside the 30-yard line. And I'm wrong. I, it was one of the Sierras that made the key block on that. Yeah, Matt Sierra went in was motion. Matt, was it Matt? Yeah, it, Matt and Gabe, I'm Ga told. Gabe had a great are, block coming through. They are through. identical twins, and I mean identical. Yeah. They are, I'm told that if they're lying to you, you would believe that one is Matt and one is Gabe if they wanted you to believe that as Parker's got the Busher electric first down and more. Inside the 10-yard line, or so he stepped out just before the 10-yard line, but another first down run there by Parker. And I cannot emphasize enough the blocking right now. That one was Gabe Sierra. That wow, what a great lead block he had on that. Just first and 10 here. <laughs> just pancaked. It was a defensive back, but just sprung. And there's really nothing fancy. I mean, no. They're, they're, not, they're, they're, just, they're loading up one side and saying, we're yeah, going to come at yeah, you. And that's, yeah, you're right. And Carson Parker's made it work as Matt Sierra in motion again. And the Sierra brothers will lead block to the left one more time. Parker inside the 10-yard line takes a big pop there at the 6-yard line. I believe Hunter Schaefer got a – maybe Ben Saylor got a pop on him. Yeah, but, it's the same thing. You know, we're sitting here like, is there any question who's going to get the ball? Yeah. <laughs> as you see on all an interior instant replay, it's – Holman in. Boy, what a solid tackle, too. Evan Ike got, got a whole lot, of, got their money's worth on that yeah. one. So the ball at the six yard line, second and two for LCC, trailing by one. Bunch formation. To the bottom of your screen. Gabe Sierra, the handoff. Gabe Sierra Whoa. turned around by Holman, still turning those legs. Holman, after the collision, able to keep him out of the end zone. What a big, big collision there between those two and each able to regain their footing and uh, collide once more. Watch this. What a hit. Boom. Boom. And then they both somehow turn around. <laughs> David Holman realizes where he is again and is able to keep Gabe Sierra out of the end zone. Gabe Sierra gets another yard after that hit, turns completely around, and a uh, great job of hanging on to the football. First and goal from the one-yard line. Parker. The quarterback keeper, Parker, the touchdown. Carson Parker's 31st touchdown run of the season gives LCC back the lead. And you can just see, see him leaning that way before the snap even gets to him. One-yard touchdown run by the junior quarterback. And we'll see if after the Allen Davis Insurance touchdown, Matthew, Michael Tafflinger, excuse me, comes on for the extra point. And you see just those 
Blockers out front. They ran that play three or four times on the drive and tried to make New Bremen stop it. Tafflinger's kick is up and good. The Fat Jacks pizza extra point through the uprights to make it 28-22. LCC with the lead here in the third quarter on WOSN. Extra points tonight brought to you by Fat Jack's Pizza. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. 28-22, LCC with the advantage over New Bremen. After the one-yard Carson Parker touchdown run, an eight-play, 73-yard drive. As the ball kicked, and it stays in bounds, oh. and Aaron Tiemann has to just step out. That's his tricky of a of a football as you'll see bounce and it just barely stayed in bounds and put Aaron Tiemann in no man's land there. They thought the first bounce of the first hit was going to go out then the second bounce still stayed in bounds. And really you know at the 23 yard line you know obviously you'd like to have the football in a better spot than that but all things considered where New Bremen has uh, returned the football out it's you know you didn't lose a whole lot of Correct. yardage there his team and the man in motion Holman will keep it himself Holman with some room to run Carson Parker gobbles him up but not before Holman picks up 14 yards on the carry and I was also going to say does it really matter you know they've <laughs> been able to take it so so quick and you know last time and so I'm not sure it really matters Holman, you see on the home of interiors, instant replay, making a couple of guys miss, picking up that Busher electric first down before Parker brings him to the turf. Boy, some great blocking up front that time by Sailor Kenning. Spielman. Holman quickly turns, fires to Zeller, tries to slip a tackle, brought down by Payne Cutlip. But Hayden Zeller a carry, or a reception, excuse me. Yep. Nine all season, he's got two here tonight. Yeah, you know, pick up of about eight. Cutlip did a nice job of holding on to him. See a great ball there on the home and interiors instant replay. You're right, Cutlip wasn't giving up. He hung on for dear life before Quatman could get there and put a shoulder into him. Second and four. Holman to carry off the counter. Holman a little bit of room to run. Holman in the open field. Down the near sideline. Inside the 20, inside the 10, takes a big pop from Ethan Frankhauser. But David Holman, a big rumble from his quarterback spot to put, make it first and goal for the Cardinals. And that was all set up by a great fake that time. Great fake. You're going to see Sierra, I think, that awesome fake just drew everybody a little bit to that left side. Holman had to change direction there, but then you see the speed turned on the Jets. And brought down inside the 10-yard line, and now Holman will hand off to Schaefer. Schaefer inside the five. He's met. They came back with the same play except for they handed it Sierra that time. And Matt Sierra, the tackle for LCC. Bring up second and goal from the six-yard line here for the Cardinals. A touchdown Again, with uh, Tyus at 28. My, my fault for getting the names mixed up there a little bit, but that was... Came right back to Schaefer, I should say. Holman, the carry. Holman, a touchdown. A six-yard Allen Davis insurance touchdown run by David Holman has us tied at 28. So we've traded touchdowns once more. That caps off a five-play, 77-yard touchdown drive. And you see the great instant replay there from Holman Interiors. David Holman gets one arm on him before he gets in the end zone from six yards out. Sure doesn't take long. I don't know how long that drive took, but a couple big plays. And... Just under two minutes as Hunter Schaefer's Fat Jack's Pizza extra point is through the uprights and good and give New Bremen a one-point lead, 29-28 over LCC here in the third quarter. Cardinals with the lead in the Division 7 state semifinals on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Three drives here in this third quarter and three touchdowns on the New Bremen Insurance scoreboard as the Cardinals now have the one-point lead, 29-28, as Hunter Schaefer boots it deep. And it will go into the end zone, and LCC will start at their own 20-yard line. Field position really hasn't been a big deal. Eh? No. <laughs> Wherever, you know, average start is about the 20, 25, and both teams have made big plays to 
score relatively quick. Yeah, LCC's touchdown drives have started at their own one yard line, their own 25 yard line, uh, their own 20 yard line, and their own 27 yard line. So yeah, yeah. They, they've, they've been able to go the length of the field should they need to. Now, both squads still without a turnover, and it feels like if you can get a stop or you can get a turnover and get points off that turnover, that might be the difference in the game. Uh, this this stadium has seen two back-and-forth games two nights in a row. Yes, so it has. Incredible scoring. Matthew Quatman lost a football, and it bounces into the hands of Billy Burke. Wow. <laughs> what a bounce there for the T-Birds as Quatman corralled it. Got the Busher Electric first down, got hit. Ball bounced right into the hands wow, of Billy Burke. Wow, look at this. Just a quick slant. And that's definitely a catch yeah, and a fumble. Without and it just a doubt. Right into the hands Boy. of Billy Burke. Right place, right time. But it's first and ten for the T-Birds after the pitch, catch, and fumble. Matt Sierra in motion. And they'll hand off to Gabe Sierra. Tries to stop and make a cut, and he's gobbled up immediately. That new Bremen defense swarms to the football. Well, you know, it's amazing coming into this game. You know, we talked about both teams being so run dominated and great running attacks. And first down, the last first down for each first possession after the kickoff, both have opened up with long passes. You see that new Bremen defense get into the football on first and ten on Homer's Holman's interiors instant replay. So second and long here for LCC. Carson Parker, the junior quarterback, in the shotgun with Gabe Sierra, the senior, to his left. Now fake the handoff, throw to Burke, ball's tipped. Hung in the air for just a moment. Ben Saylor, I believe, got his fingers on it. And he's had just a spectacular ball game tonight. Yes, he has. We'll see the home and interiors instant replay. And yep, Ben yep. Saylor got up, got his mitts on the football. And it's a big play for both sides here on third and 10. New Bremen with a one point lead. LCC looking for the Busher Electric first down. T-Birds have scored 30 or more points in each of their last seven games. And another touchdown will put them over that mark one more time. Carson Parker in the gun on third and 10. Pressure from behind, slings it, and it's in the turf. Looking for Billy Burke. And he left it just a bit shy. Well, he was being chased that entire time by Hayden Zeller coming in off that right outside linebacker position. Holman interiors instant replay. You see number 83 on a dead sprint there for Carson Parker, and he just spiked it just a little bit before Billy Burke. So on fourth and ten, LCC will presumably punt the football away to break the touchdown trade here in this third quarter. And Parker will boot it away. Wow. It's a high, short kick. It will bounce, and it's caught by Holman. <laughs> out past the 40, first out past the 50 yard line, excuse me. You can, you, know, you could, the New Bremen coaches at draw our right, and I could hear them shout, get yeah. away, get away, get away. Instead, <laughs> Holman thought, this might be an opportunity for me to make a big play here. Now, LCC wanted a penalty flag. I don't know if Holman signaled for a fair catch. I think he did. Well, we'll see. So I'm not sure why the new the yeah. new Bremen fans are booing while LCC's fans are or while the LCC players are saying that should be a, fa a, a penalty. That's the rare time where I think everybody is not thrilled with the officials and I'm not certain why. <laughs> so the ball's at the 45 yard line. Hunter Schaefer the carry and he's brought down by Jacob Locke from behind still a gain of three. Two forty to go here in this third quarter as the Schaefer gets the carry, the senior running back. First team all Midwest Athletic Conference performer. Uh, we said field position doesn't mean that much because both teams have been able to take advantage wherever they're at, but good starting position for yes. New Bremen. Schaefer in motion. Holman will roll that way and slip it to him. Hunter Schaefer out of the backfield. Stiff arm, and he stepped out of bounds. I know the New Bremen fans don't like it, but... I have a feeling the official was he, that was right there on top I, of it. Probably had a little bit better it's view. It's right in front of us, <laughs> and I'm almost certain. Now, I've been wrong before, but I'm pretty certain Hunter Schaefer stepped out of bounds here. 
I'll see on the home on the interiors instant replay. Get a great look at his feet here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Whoa. maybe not. Oh. <laughs> so I've been wrong. I've been wrong. I thought he stepped out clear as day, but maybe I the official so and I saw, saw the same thing. Third and four. Reverse. They'll get it to Dylan Bombauer. And Dylan Bombauer's got the Busher Electric first down. LCC was sending their linebackers on that. So, you know, really it was a perfect play call against that. But great job by LCC to get that on the outside. They're sending their linebackers in. and Just, just enough space there for Bombauer to get that first down and move the chains. Schaefer, the carry. Hit by Frankhauser. Still picked up five yards. It's a nice carry by Hunter Schaefer. That's 25 rushing, rushing touchdowns on the season after his two in the first half here. And you see, just looking for that little bit of daylight, found what he could, and got a gain of five. Holman the keeper this time. Holman a little bit of room to run, trying to turn that corner, does inside the red zone after he's brought down by Payne Cutlip. But David Holman, pickup of about 20. And, and again, that, that all started with a great fake. David Holman makes the great fake, then keeps the ball. As you see Holman rumbling and is able to turn that corner where it's a tough spot to turn that corner, but is brought down at the 19 yard line. So as we approach one minute to go here in this third quarter, New Bremen in business. We heard several hundred or yeah, probably two, three hundred uh, officials in the crowd wanting a late <laughs> hit on that, but you saw on the replay that he was hit inbounds and clean tackle. Schaefer met in the hole by Frank Hauser, or excuse me, by Matt Sierra. Gain of maybe a yard and a half there for Schaefer. To see that hole open up, and then Matt Sierra closed it quickly. Jacob Locke and Gianni McKee come in for the secondary tackles. Yeah, Jacob Locke, big, strong defensive tackle. Holman quickly to the corner. Penalty flag thrown as he still turns those legs out to the 11-yard line. We'll see what the flag is with 14 seconds to go in the quarter. That's all effort on his part. Took no gain into about a five-yard gain, but we're going to see. Didn't see a hold there, but that is what the call is. And that pushes New Bremen well back near the 30-yard line. So instead of second and probably four, four. <laughs> it's going to be second and about 18. They got to get to the nine yard line there at the 27. So Holman will pump fake, and he's nearly sacked Gianni McKee, Ethan Frankhauser. Bring him to the turf somehow. You know, he's only 167 pounds, but boy, he runs like a 200 pound, you know. But again, that's all from the weight room. That's weight room and effort there for David Holman. So we've played three quarters. 29-28 New Bremen, fourth quarter in the Division 7 State Semifinals coming up on WOSN. Tonight's ball game brought to you in part by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Fourth quarter about to begin. It's third and 14 for New Bremen, eighth play of the drive upcoming. They started at their own 43-yard line. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Jerry Snodgrass. Big third down here for both sides, Jerry. Yes, it is, and, you know, this is a big, big stop if LCC can get it. Holman looking to throw. Now reverses field. Scampers still holding. He's got an open field over here. Throws it back over the middle of the field. It's caught by Dylan Bombauer, and he picks up wow. 11 yards on the, care, on the pitch and catch, and he's just shy of the first down marker. Boy, Holman able to keep that play alive. Credit the lineman for staying 
not going downfield, staying you know in in their spots, giving him a little time. He just runs around like a maniac for a while. Went to both sides of the field before he found Bombauer, and it'll bring up fourth and short. Bombauer lined up as the wing to the right of Schaefer. Holman to carry, and he is very close to the Busher Electric first down. Had to get past the 10-yard line. Yep. I don't know that he got there, but they did give him the first down. Gave him a very good spot on that. We'll see. Had to get past the 10-yard line. And we'll... Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, That's a good spot. Yeah. Good spot. So you see on the Holman Interiors instant replay there, David Holman, the first down is Aaron Tiemann, the man in motion. Holman will roll back the other way inside the five-yard line. Cut down by several guys wearing white jerseys. Ethan Frankhauser, the initial stop. As you see, they send the man in motion one way and run back the other way. So the ball to five-yard line. New Bremen with a one-point lead. Well, so far, it's he puts it on. You know, Holman puts everybody on his back, and he'll try to do it one more time. And he stood up as he looked like he was getting the momentum to the goal line. Now it's just a rugby scrum. Got him in. Penalty flag thrown as Holman crosses the goal line. We'll see what the penalty flag is, but it was as the scrum was kind of reaching its yeah. zenith. I wonder if they'll call a hold on that. No? no. That's, that's. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> where the ball spot. I, it, it happened, I think, like at the goal line or in the end zone. We could see, I think, the umpire throw the flag is aiding the runner is the call. You're, you're allowed to push the runner, but not allowed to pull the yeah, runner I into think the that's end zone. Yeah, what he called. So not a popular call with the folks from Anglaise County. But it's you're bound almost contractually if you got 11 guys shoving one way or you know 10 guys run, shoving one way. I believe we got a uh, play clock issue. But you could see the official. He was staring right into the pile and threw the penalty flag. And so now they're explaining, you can push him, but you can't pull him yeah. into the end zone. Our official tonight is Rennie Cousineau. Ball at the seven-yard line now after the penalty. Just kind of, you know, one of those like, I think he was at the two-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> Penalties <laughs> five yards from the spot. I think he was at the two. So it'll be second and goal from the seven-yard line here for the Cardinals after David Holman punched it in, but aiding the runner penalty thrown. Teeman in motion. Holman keeps it himself again. Spins at the five. Jacob Locke pulls him backwards. Well, big third down coming up now. Yep. Especially with the one-point advantage. For LCC, this is huge. It's 9.30 to go in this Division 7 state semifinal. Winner moves on to play in the state championship game next Saturday at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton against the winner of Newark Catholic and Warren JFK. You know, that stadium, you know, oh, I'll tell you what, a great, great venue to play in. Team in motion. Holman will look and fire that way. He's wide open and steps into the end zone. And Allen Davis insurance touchdown from Holman to Teeman from five yards out extends the lead for New Bremen. And once again, that little run pass option, you know, with Holman and his wheels, he looks like he's going to run it. That leaves him wide open. So now, Hunter Schaefer on to kick the Fat Jack's Pizza extra point. Snap back, kick is up, and the kick is good. 36-28. New Bremen grows the lead against LCC here on WOSN. 
First down tonight brought to you by Busher Electric. They're your full service electrical contractor servicing the area communities for over 40 years. You can depend on Busher Electric for all your electric needs. An 11 play, 57 yard touchdown drive capped off by a five yard touchdown pass from David Holman to Aaron Teeman as New Bremen's lead out to 36 28. So, still a one score game here with 9.08 to go in the fourth quarter. And LCC having a difficult time stopping New Bremen in this half, so this possession can be very, very critical to not give it back to them. Matthew Quatman Fumble. brought it out to the 28 yard line. It stayed up there for like it was a little awkward where he got yeah. kept above the turf for just a hot moment, but 9.01 to go, and LCC trailing by eight. The football at their own 28-yard line. So Carson Parker will bring the offense back to work. And it really, LCC hasn't thrown the ball as much here no, in this the second, second half. half that's exactly right. They, they threw it to Matthew Quatman there kind of to start the half, and then he fumbled, and they've kept it on the ground for the most part since then. It's, Parker, you see barrels through a defender out to the 34-yard line, so a gain of six on first down for the junior quarterback. Yeah, barrels out is right, just ran right over. But then again, I mean, he, he said, I'm going to give you a shoulder. You can, you can take it or not, but. I think it was Ben Saylor there, stayed yeah. right there, though, and made the tackle. Got to remember, Ben Saylor's somewhat stationary, and <laughs> Parker's Parker coming at got you. a full head of steam going at him. Parker on second and four, hands off to Gabe Sierra. Sierra the push, pusher electric first down. Sailor brings him down at the 30, or excuse me, the 45 yard line. So back to back carries there for LCC, moves the chains. And Gabe Sierra did a great job that time cutting back. You see him plant that left foot, find the hole to the right, cut back. LCC needs to go on a drive here for just a minute. One to. You know, it's Division Seven football. You don't give to give your defense really a rest here. No, <laughs> your, your defense is on right. the field, but uh, I'm sure they'd love to take a little time here, see if they can't put a Allen Davis insurance touchdown on the board. Quatman the handoff on the jet sweep, and he's going nowhere. Well, New Bremen called that defense just right, sending a few linebackers in. Played right into the hands of the play call by LCC. You'll see the home and interiors instant replay. Evan Eink, number 56, sheds that block and is able to chase down Matthew Quatman. That's a nice open field tackle from the senior. And you know what? I haven't mentioned Evan Eink's name enough. 6'2", 250-pound senior, 57 and a half tackles on the year, five sacks. He's a threat. He's a big-time threat on that defensive line. Gabe Sierra, the handoff. Inside linebacker, excuse me. Slipping a couple of tackles out to the midfield stripe. So a gain of four. Bring up third and five here for LCC after four consecutive runs to start the drive. Yeah, we talked earlier with those linebackers when they're 215 pounds, 6'2 and mobile. New Bremen looking to play for a state championship for the second time in three years. LCC looking to punch their ticket to Canton for the first time in school history. And it's a third and six with the ball at the 49 yard line. Of the T-Birds, looking across midfield. Matt Sierra in motion. Parker barks out the orders, looking to fire. Gets it to Quatman. It's broken up. Hit Quatman. And Teeman hits Boy. him from behind. And you see the great sportsmanship there as yeah, Bob Bauer stands over and makes sure Quatman's all right. And again, that little slant to the middle and that cut. Boy, he knows he's going to get hit. Well, we'll step aside. Fourth and five upcoming. T-Bird football trailing by eight. You're on WOSN. Timeouts tonight brought to you by Speedway Lanes. Speedway Lanes in New Bremen brings family and friends together with bowling, fun, and great food for everyone. Matthew Quatman, the injured T-Bird, able to get to the sideline underneath his own power, but the Lima Central Catholic punt unit is on the field now. And that was good to see him get off on his own because he took a solid hit. Carson Parker. Will punt it away. He is the quarterback in addition to being a punter. Sends a boot, and it's going to take a great LCC bounce and go down, and they'll 
Call it a oh, touchback. Call it a touchback, yeah. They let it go just a little bit too long. So the Cardinals avoid having to go the length of the field there. Is you're not allowed to touch any part of that goal line. Yeah, that could have been that could have been just what they wanted. I mean, you no, know, they punted the ball to pin them back deep. The ball just took a rapid quick bounce and got into the end zone. So with 6.27 to go, the Cardinals get the football back at their own 20-yard line after the football is touched while any part of the defender is across that goal line. Crosses that plane. That's all it needs to do. So an unfortunate bounce here for the T-Birds. Benefits New Bremen. As so does this carry by Hunter Schaefer. He's off to the races, and he's got one man to beat. Schaefer at the 20, and he's got an 80-yard touchdown run. Hunter Schaefer from 80 yards out extends the lead for New Bremen in the state semifinals. Well, you know, th th that, that all develops because David Holman is so much of a threat there. They just run that, and other times they fake to him. This time they hand to him. You see the Allen Davis insurance touchdown run there by Schaefer. Might have lost a little steam once he got to the 40-yard line. Didn't matter. He had enough forward momentum to carry him into the end zone. And Hunter Schaefer's third touchdown run of the night makes it 42-28 Cardinals. That is such a tough offense to defend when you've got David Holman back there. That's such a good ball carrier himself. Fat Jack's pizza extra point is no good. So it stays 42-28. T-Birds get the football back when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. An 80-yard Allen Davis Insurance touchdown by Hunter Schaefer, his third of the night. That's a big, big old rumble here for the senior running back. Well, Garrett, you know, one of the keys coming into this game for LCC was to stop and prevent the big play. And those big plays like that, 80 yards, first play after you almost pinned them back, yeah. almost had them pinned on the one-yard line, and that first play goes for 80 yards. So Schaefer, after the touchdown, will boot it away, and that goes out of bounds. So pretty good starting field position for LCC upcoming. Yeah, not what they wanted on that kickoff. He got under it a little bit too far. 6-10 to go, trailing by two touchdowns. LCC going to have to go to work after the one-play 80-yard touchdown drive there on the carry by Hunter Schaefer. So the ball at the 35-yard line. And during that last, or the commercial break before the touchdown run, Jerry had said, you know, I don't know. I want LC. I want, no, I want New Bremen to have the football. Right. And you, you go from almost having them pinned at the one yard yeah. line to instead rumbling for an 80 yard touchdown. So now the T Birds trail by two touchdowns. Those are those unpredictable things, you know, in a ball game. Yeah. Can, I always, I, you know, you talk about analytics and how much you study film and what they do on this down, all that. Some of those things, you know, you, you just cannot predict and know. That ball's not going to be stopped on the one-yard line. It takes a quick bounce. You can't. You, you have no way to know that. Yeah, you pump the football away there thinking, all right, we're going yeah. to have pretty good field position now defensively. Instead, it comes out to the 20. They house it from there, going on the double move. Parker uncorks one. He's got Quatman down the near sideline. Dropped it in the bread basket. Quatman at the five, goes down at the three, and LCC answers with a gigantic response. <laughs> Let's see how many yards have been covered in two plays. You know, one by New Bremen, one by LCC. From the 35-yard line, their own 35-yard line, down to the three. You see the pump fake, and what a on-the-money throw from Carson Parker. Quatman stays in bounds, is shoved down inside the five. It wasn't bad coverage by Aaron Tiemann either. That money was just laid right where he needed to put it. Matt Sierra, the man in motion. Both Sierras to the right of Parker. He'll keep it himself, and he's hit and kept at the five-yard line. Have an eye again on the stop there for New Bremen. Well, the thing that does become critical now is time. Yep. And we're down into the five-minute you know, area, uh, below six minutes, and time becomes a factor. So want to score quick? I'm just, LCC would like to score as quickly as possible here. As Parker in the gun, a wing and two receivers to his left. Sierra in motion again. 
They'll send Quatman in motion this time. Hand to him. He's got a blocker in front of him. Quatman brought down on the open field by Ike. Boy, what a tackle by Evan Ike. My goodness, in the open field. You'll see it on the Almond Interiors instant replay. Touchdown saving tackle. Quatman looks like he's turned the corner in for a touchdown. Instead, Ike, perfect form tackle in the open field. Man, I like him. To bring up third and goal with under five minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. You've got that kind of movement, you know, that kind of athleticism out of that linebacker position. Third and goal. Sierra in motion again. Parker the keep. Parker the touchdown. A four-yard Allen Davis insurance touchdown by Carson Parker. Trims that lead back up to eight. Now we're going to see this, you know, again, Good lead blocking that time. Nothing fancy there. Yep, Gabe Sierra you know, doing a great job of kicking out on that outside, opening up the lane. Michael Tafflinger comes on for the extra point. Looks like LCC's missing a offensive lineman or a tight end. And I think they'll get they him in. 10 seconds. They're going to need the timeouts. You don't want the time. Use the timeout here. Snap is back. Kick is blocked. Yeah. Kick is blocked by David Holman. So you the just, score remains 42-34. You just wonder about that. You know, the unsettledness of, you know, trying to get that play off quick. That could prove pivotal here in this fourth quarter. Cardinals lead 42-34 here on WOSN. The scoreboard tonight brought to you by New Bremen Insurance Agency. They've continued with their strong local presence in support of our community. And the New Bremen Insurance Agency scoreboard says 42-34 Cardinals after the blocked extra point there by LCC. And you know, I don't want to put this hex on anybody, Jerry, but the last time these two squads played at this stadium, a two-point conversion was the decider currently LCC would need a two-point conversion, and it looks like they're lining up the onside kick. Yeah, time is a huge factor right now, but, you know, you go back to, and, boy, that kick was blocked by, uh, am I right on that? I think that David they, Holman I got thought the, David Holman did block it. So Good. the bounce on the onside kick corralled by Elking. Generally don't see number 58 on the hands team, but Carter Elking flashing right. up. Some touch there on the on the hands unit. As you'll see on the home and interiors instant replay, got a nice bounce on it to Tafflinger, but Carter Elking just pounced right on the football. 4.37 to go. Cardinals with good field position at their own 46 yard line. LCC with all three timeouts remaining, both squads have all of their speedway lanes timeouts. Holman, the carry, nearly tripped up in the backfield. Still churning out past the midfield stripe. A big first play there on the drive for David Holman. It's a big, hard running that time. See on Holman Interiors instant replay. Keeping it all the way. Got hit in the backfield. And just kept moving ahead before Ethan Frankhauser brings him down. Well, you're going to see a lot of gambling on the defensive side now. Linebackers coming and, you know, thinking that uh, New, Bre New Bremen will probably keep the ball on the ground. But, boy, that opens up too if you break some of those tackles early on you've got a clear field the rest of the way and you could see lcc trying to strip the football yep. there from holman you got something you got to be conscious of make sure you hang on to it as team in motion holman again and he's very close to a busher electric first down he's going to be a yard shy gain of three on second down get a look at this instant replay <laughs> Uh, you almost got to believe that Holman, yeah. after James Patton gets the tackle, is probably going to – it's going to be the David Holman show from here on out. Yeah, you would have to believe so, maybe every once in a while. And that's what makes it so dangerous, too, when you know they turn around and hand that off. So Nolan Kenning will stand over the football, the junior center, awaiting to snap it back to Holman on third and one. He'll keep it himself again, and he's got the Busher electric first down. They marked that close. 
but they're going to, yep. Yep, that's the official on his near side. They said, him, yep. move it, move them chains. So now with just over three minutes to go, it's probably when LCC is going to be forced to start burning timeouts here. T-Birds trail, 42-34. LCC having all three timeouts remaining. And you're going to see New Bremen take every possible yeah. second off that shot. <laughs> I'm in the wrong sport here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Off that play clock. Five seconds now on the play clock. And they'll snap it with two. He'll end off to Schaefer. Schaefer met in a hole. He'll be tugged to the turf. And a timeout called by LCC. As James Patton gets another tackle there for the T-Birds. So the first timeout called by LCC. We'll step aside, 42-34. Cardinals the lead on WLSN. Second and eight upcoming here for New Bremen with LCC in full try to kill the clock mode. Carson Parker trying to chase down David Omen. He turns the corner. He's got the Busher electric first down and goes down inbounds. And he went down on his own inbounds to keep the clock running or force LCC to take a timeout. It's a wise play by the senior. Make sure that he stayed inbounds. And now that the chains are set, the clock is ticking. And you see him. We'll see on this home and interiors instant replay. He wisely slides down in plenty of green. Well, I'll tell you, this has been the game that we expected. You know, Absolutely. two pretty even teams and, you know, you know, trailing right now, LCC, but what an incredible effort. Baumbauer in motion, Holman to carry, and he squirts out to the 25-yard line. Yeah, and that's what, you know, happens, you know, LCC sending the backers in and gets through that, overran the play. I don't know who it was that shot through there, but overran it a little bit, which is easy to do. Timeout called by LCC. So they're second. So 42-34. And really, <laughs> we mentioned, you know, it might just continue to be the David Holman show. And he's probably going to be sore in the morning, but it doesn't matter right now. He's going to do whatever he can to try to will his team to a victory. Well, that's that tandem that they have, David Holman. I think you're going to see him running it three out of four times, and the other one's going to be that same run, uh, except handing it off to Hunter Schaefer. So 42-34 the score. You see a look at this weekend on WOSN, Columbus Grove and Marion Local also in the Division Six state semifinals, a pair of great defensive football teams there. And then get a look at some of the basketball coming up next weekend, Bluffton and Ottawa Glendorf, Ottaville and Columbus Grove, St. John's, Elida, some great matchups. That's why on, I said the tab. shot clock earlier. <laughs> we're, in that, we're in that middle ground right now. Yeah, where every clock could be a play clock or a game clock or a shot clock or play clock or whatever it could be. I'm sure New Bremen would like to avoid picking up the basketballs here for another week or so. Second and five for Holman. Teeman in motion. They'll hand off to Teeman. And he's stiff arms and Teeman turns the corner. And he'll wisely go down inside the 10 yard line. That's I'm sure that's difficult wow. for Teeman to not want to score the touchdown, but running the clock is a little bit more important. Uh, you know, with one score, I mean, that's what what a smart move. What a smart move. And he looks up, and is you can see him peek to his left there, and he's being told by Bombauer, go down, go down. And he wisely goes down, slides to the turf. So the Busher Electric first down stops the clock momentarily, but it's ticking now, and LCC has got one timeout to burn. Looks like the... Cardinals are going to burn one themselves as there's five seconds on the play clock. And now you see Chris Schmidt call the timeout. So 1.14 to go here in this fourth quarter, 42-34. We'll step aside as well. More fourth quarter action coming up on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Speedway Lane. Speedway Lane's a new Bremen brings family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. 42-34 the score. New Raymond trying to close it out. And it looks like you're going to set up in a victory formation as LCC's just got one more timeout. 
They'll snap it. Holman will take his time to drop to a knee. And yeah, I still can't emphasize enough the effort by LCC in this. And you know, some of the great passes by Carson Parker laid so many yeah. passes right, right in the hands. So if New Bremen takes their time here, they'll have to snap it just this final time. And they'll move on to play for a state championship for the second time in three years. So under five seconds now on the play clock. Holman will drop to a knee, and that'll do it. Yep. For the second time in three years, New Bremen is going to play for a Division Seven state championship. And, you know, we were talking off camera earlier about how far this new Bremen program has come yeah. from seven or eight years ago. I was talking to Marcus Overman beforehand, and we talked about that a little bit. What an amazing, amazing turnaround. And I say that for all the schools in the state of Ohio. Yeah. You know, it is possible. And These kids are all homegrown. I mean, it is possible. You don't need to go out and find other players. It does happen. And now you see the final score officially on the board, 42-34 New Bremen. Takes down LCC. We'll step aside, come back. We'll chat with Cardinals head coach Chris Schmidt and name a Scully Hustle Award winner. When we return, New Bremen will play for a state championship. They win 42-34 here on WOSF. We're back here at Wapakoneta wrapping up a 42-34 victory for the New Bremen Cardinals. They're moving on to the state championship game. I'm Garrett Seawright joined now with New Bremen head coach Chris Schmidt. And, Chris, it's the second time in three years you play for a state championship. It's the second time in three years you battled back from two touchdowns down to beat LCC. What can you say about your squad's effort here tonight? Uh, I was proud of our kids and how they hung in there because uh, we were really up against it early on. And, uh, you know, Coach Palti and his uh, – coaching staff and uh, their team. It's a great team. We knew that coming in. Um, you know, their quarterback is tough, and he was really getting after us early on. And fortunately, we were able to keep it in striking distance and uh, weather the storm a little bit and uh, find a way to make enough plays and just, uh, you know, just proud of our, our, our kids. And it was great to have our community out here. Uh, you know, last time we were here two years ago, it was during COVID. And so uh, it was a great memory, but, you know, it was one of those where not everybody could come out that wanted to come out. So... Uh, just just thankful that uh, we get another week. You mentioned their tough quarterback. You've got one as well as David Holman. You really relied on him there in the second half. What can you say about his performance tonight? Boy, he's a, he's a, he's a football player, uh, ultra competitive. Um, you know, he's not necessarily going to be the prettiest quarterback when it comes to if you're watching like technique and footwork. But, boy, he loves to compete. He's a great leader uh, and made some big plays for us tonight. And, obviously, our, our kids rallied around that. And, uh uh, yeah, just tremendous quarterback play on both sides. Just, you know, uh, you know, like I said, thankful I get another week to coach him. You know, everybody talks about, you know, wanting to peak at the right time and play your best football. Do you guys, are you guys getting to that area right now? Well, I hope so. I mean, we talked about that, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to play, you know, complimentary football. And, and last week we had a shutout. And, and uh, you know, this week we had to score a little bit more. And, and we were a little shaky on some of our PATs and special teams. But, uh you know, at this point of year, just find a way to get it done and keep playing. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll go back to we'll enjoy this, obviously, and we'll go back to work and prepare for next week. Well, congratulations, and congratulations on getting to, to, to play one more week. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a blessing, and I, I'm so thankful and uh, looking forward to it. Congratulations, Chris. We appreciate your time. That's Chris Schmidt, New Bremen head coach, joining us here at Wapakoneta as we now bring Jerry Snodgrass back in here. And, Jerry, uh, now that we uh, – we uh, have wrapped up the state semifinals and the Cardinals moving on to the state championship game. It's time to name our Stolly Hustle Award winner, and I, I think we're in agreement on, on who that is. Oh, I think David Holman deserves so much. You know, everything from his legs, his arm. Yeah. But you know what? I thought one of the most critical ones, you know, it, it didn't end up being the exact difference, but that block of the extra point at the end, yeah. I just think that put a whole different – Sealed it, I guess, is the way you can say it. He was a tremendous player tonight. And he, you're right, did it with his arms, did it with his legs there in the second half where they, when they needed a, a third and three or a fourth and one, it was David Holman who got him those yards. So, well, you know, too, and, and I have to say this, you know, sometimes you overlook the leadership aspect. I mean, we're up in the press box. Right. We don't see that on the field. But when they were down 14 0, 
that's where your your quarterback comes into play. And that was a, a big difference in tonight's ball game. So David Holman of New Bremen, our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. And for more Stolly Hustle Award winners throughout the high school football season, check out the WOSN YouTube page. Jerry, final thoughts on this Division 7 state semifinal tonight? Well, you know, I won. I think, you know, being down 14-0, being patient, not losing your cool, methodically getting it back. But boy, the big plays tonight. Yeah. The big plays. And you know, that was one of the big things going into this is they had to stop the big play, and New Bremen really came up with some. And it's, to me, I, I love to see, you know, both teams that made it to this level, you know, both should be in, incredibly proud of what they've accomplished yeah. all year. Playing 15 weeks into the season, that's pretty darn good. That it is. So that'll do it from us here in Wapakoneta, New Bremen. Victorious 42-34 over Lima Central Catholic. They're moving on to the Division 7 state championship game for the second time in three years. For our fantastic WOSN crew and Jerry Snodgrass, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long from Wapakoneta here on WOSN. <laughs>